All right. Where are you, dude? <laughs> Greetings. Are you Galeev, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. Okay. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressing. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. Okay. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. In other words, he doesn't care. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity or a thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's solve your problem. Okay, so that's actually pretty. See to the girl and it's yours, not before. Oh, please, on my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in a crowd. Huh. So, previously... Okay, so apparently, if you didn't have the thunder draw hard, he would actually send you off and you actually hunt them down and get one. But, yeah, apparently I had one from earlier, from either a previous save or from previous kill of a thunder draw, so... That was quick. And thank God for fast travel. Howdy. It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you? What did we do to deserve? No, wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. <laughs> That's enough excitement for my rest day. Thank you, again giving her a better chance okay now to here I'm actually gonna check something because I think they actually do sell some shadow Kaja outfits here but um, is that it? No. Huh. I thought they sold some. Or maybe that's it? I don't know. 
Oh well, doesn't matter. But let's just double check weapons. I only need that Brattler, which we don't really want. So basically, um, here's the thing. Usually, if actually, I want to double check this too. So outfits. So yeah, usually they sell the normal versions of these, right? But then they also sell like adapt versions of what these were before. So like the Banuk sick, a uh, sickness eater one, and then you got the adapt ones in the new game plus. They also had like a shadow. If I actually look, I think I got it here. Nor brave, no, Banuk. Ice heavy. No, I don't think I actually got that one. So, but they would have a normal Shadow Carja outfit that you can disguise yourself as. But they don't sell the normal one if you do New Game Plus. So you have to get the Shadow Carja Adapt one. But I think that's it, if I remember correctly. Anywho. Now we need to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? It's most of the way. <laughs> Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Lady Lowen. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime... <laughs> Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen to Bahamas. I hear the Shadow Conjurer are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Come to gawk at our exile? Let's see you gawk when we find you. By the glory of the sun revealed. Oh, God. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. How old is that kid? By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. Okay, so there's the other quest. We both know you're not here for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, Soon. gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. We cannot just be thinking. Alright. Now we are going back to Shadowside because we are. Later. Parkour. Whoops. I heard another one pass in the night. Okay. Now, where is 
the tent. Hello. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat. Bring some home for your families, if you have one. Uh, I've heard howdy. about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. Mm. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the green climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Yeah. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you. So I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. Okay, your lip syncing was a little off there. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edelman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. Okay. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what works. We've murdered him. several bandit camps, just putting that out there. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Okay. Traitor's bounty. That's where we're going. And we are actually starting at this fast travel point. All right. Turn bars. There you go. Wrong button. My bad. Sorry, bars. Three dead trees, just like the Nasha said. Let's see if it came from here. Now we need tracks. Tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green call. Just ran over something. I don't know if it was a fish or a rat or something. Well, Bars. Time to climb. Sorry, you'll have to stay here for the moment, but we'll summon you later. And the battery's running low. Hopefully, it holds out for a little bit longer. Scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. Anything else around here? He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. <laughs> 